Grace here welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you another card which will be card two using the time for tea designs paper craft society box 58 and this time I'm going to do a shaker card so I have taken the um, either window or bookcase die and I've cut it out in white twice which I've stuck together and I've taken a piece of acetate to um, just slightly less than what the size is and stuck that on and I've also put on some foam um, and I've doubled that up the foam I've used is um, is this from Creative Craft Products. It comes in sheets, but I cut it down to the size that I want. So you make it as thin as strips as you want. I've taken a piece of the white of the pattern paper that's in the um, kit, and again cut that down. That measured five and three quarters across there by four and one eight so again it's just slightly shorter than that and that's going to stick behind there the stamp that i've used also comes from the kit um, and it was this looking sharp as you can see there are all other um sentiments on there as well I've also taken a piece of terracotta card that's in the kit and that measures six and a quarter by four and a half and I'm going to be putting this onto a it's just over four by six it's I think that's six and a half across there yeah, just under six and a half and just under four and three quarters i've taken it from a piece of card um, and i think the the full measurement across is nine and a quarter so then i've just scored it at four and five eighths so that gives us that size of card and then I have taken all little bits of ephemera that I've cut and I've got a packet of them here as well. So we'll be reusing some of these, if not all of them. I don't think we'll need to use all of them, So, but I've got chews between them in there. So there's the little critters. Um, as I've said in my previous video, video using this kit, it's a fabulous kit. I really like using it. So there's all my elements. So let's get going and um, stick all these together. So we'll start by sticking this down. And as ever, I will be using my trusty Kalal glue. Um, it's a strong glue i like it. it does have a bit of an odor and it does take a little bit longer to dry but it does dry solid let's make sure i've got that the right way up although it doesn't matter at the moment but you can guarantee that if it moves around i'll forget and then i'll be making an upside down cake uh, card not cake card <laughs> So with this then, I want to, I've cleaned all the acetate and gone round the edges with my embossing buddy. Um, or you can do it with a little bit of talcum powder. It uh, helps take the stickiness off the edges of the foam so that when you put your sequins in or whatever you're doing as your shaker elements, um, it won't stick or most of them won't so i'm going to be putting that in there let's have a look probably won't want all of those just a few in each i'm thinking 
So that's all the sequins in. I think I should have taken off all my little foam, um, all the release paper from the sides before I did that. Not sure. So there we are. That's all the, the foam off. And the um, sequins I've been using are from an old Paper Craft Society box as well. So that's all off. So all we need now is to put this card on the back let me get that lined up that on the back of there and there we are and just a couple so they don't um disguise the the uh, sentiment so just get this glued onto the back of here and there we are and again let me make sure that's right yes that opens right and get this centralized with a nice even border around the edge so that's there and now it's just a case of choosing what i want to go on each side so i think we'll have that one there we will have take that one i think we'll put that one up there We'll get these glued together, put that one in, um, I've got this one here to go up there, I've got some nice, um, nice one, oh, and I do like this one, oh, I think I might put him in that one with his moustache. I think he's quite good. Put him down there. So I will come back when I have got all these glued down and uh, show you the finishing card. So that's how I'm going to put them on the card. I've stuck them together and I've just used tacky glue um, to put them together. But because it's going, they're going on acetate, I'm going to use some double sided tape in order for them to stick down because um, glue won't stick to the acetate, it will come off. So we'll get these put on. So that's those elements stuck on. I just want to do a little bit more embellishment and we've got some flat back pearls in the kit as well so I'm going to put a little a little green pearl on the hanging basket and I'm going to put a little pink pearl just in the middle of her flower I quite like that and uh, I'm going to put some of them on here as well just to give this some dimension there we are quite like that so just to lift that a bit and then in the middle i'm going to put that and a sentiment so, and the sentiment I'm going to use is, I hope, you can see it better on there, hope your birthday is on point. So I'm going to get this glued down and then we'll stamp the sentiment so I can get that, the sentiment in the right place. stamping platform I 
put some card on just to protect it and in order to stamp it because we've got that element on there I have to hang it over there we will get the stamp and I think that looks about central and it still leaves me room to write my message so let's just pick this up and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black I find this is one of my favourite ones I'm just thinking I, maybe I might have to do this twice because I've not primed the stamp I've not used it before and uh, I usually like to prime it let's have a look yes just once more and how i usually prime it i either go over it just with my fingers or with an eraser um just takes the sort of i don't know there's always some stickiness or something on it from the manufacturer and uh, it just helps with that yes i'm happy with that now so there we have it let me just move this out the way and we can have a look at the card so there we are there is card number two using the time for tea paper craft society box 58 and um, i said in my previous um, post this it gives it a shaker feel to it so there we are and that inside so i quite like that so thank you for watching another video if you've liked what you've seen please consider um subscribing leave me a comment and a thumbs up and until the next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon bye bye for now